All right, so let's talk about trimming and padding strings. Now, trimming is the removal of extra white space at the beginning or at the end of a string. So the leading spaces or the trailing spaces. The trailing spaces, the one at the end. Leading spaces are the ones at the beginning. In this variable here, long name, we have some extra spaces here, some extra spaces at the end. So these are the leading and these are the trailing spaces. So we have three methods. There's trim, trim left, trim right. As you would expect, trim left will trim the spaces that are on the left hand side. Trim right will be the ones that are on the right hand side and trim removes both. Now, if you have, I guess that should be an e. If you have a space in the middle, this will not be removed. We're not searching through the entire string to remove spaces. We're just getting rid of the ones at the beginning and the end. These are places where somebody has accidentally added an extra space at the end of what they're typing. So somebody's filling out a registration form and they've typed their name and accidentally put an extra space or their email address they've copied and pasted from somewhere. And there's an extra space at the beginning, at the end, at both. So we want to get rid of those. I'm going to uh, create a shortcut to console.log here. There we go. So I can call log. Now, when you call trim or trim left or trim right, it will return to you a brand new string. So this is not modifying the original string. So just remember that. You're not going to be impacting the original string in any way when you call this or if you call it multiple times. So if I run this now, and trim is not defined. Of course it's not, because <laughs> you don't pass the string in. There we go. So trim is a method that you call on a string. Okay, let's clear this out and do that again properly. There we go. Now, you can see there's no spaces at the beginning, and the ones at the end here have been removed as well because I called trim. If we call trim right, those are just the ones on the right-hand side. We still have the ones on the left, and if we call trim left. There we go, we got the ones here, but the ones here are still there. And just to prove that fact, I will add in, there we go. So the ones are removed from here, but we still have the spaces here if we call trim left. So you can target either side or both with trim left, trim right, or trim. Now pad, pad start and pad end, these are two new methods that have been added for strings. If we want to, they will, just the same way as trim, give you a new string back when you call the method. So uh, actually, here, let's go with name, it's a shorter string. I'm going to call the pad start method. Now inside of here, there's one required argument and a second optional argument. The min length, this is the required argument. So you're saying, all right, I've got this variable. It has some string inside of it. I want to make sure that this is 10 characters always. Whatever the value is, I want it to always be 10 characters. So we can come in here and say 10. That is the minimum size for this. When I run this, you can see there's the extra few spaces here at the very beginning. Now, from the beginning to the end, this is 10 characters long. If I were to do dot length, find the length of the string, sure enough, 10. That's the length that I'm getting. That's what we're doing with pad start. Pad start, pad end. Pad start adds it to the left-hand side. Pad end adds it to the right-hand side. Okay, now, the second argument, the optional one, by default, if you don't provide that second argument, it's going to use a space as the character to use. I can go in here and say, that's what I want to use as my padding. And now when I run it, it takes the first two characters here to bring it up to 10 characters long. So those two characters plus the original string make 10. Now if I said 5 was the length, I get the original string. So this is the minimum size. If my string is bigger, that's fine. It's allowed to be bigger, but padding is bringing it up to this number. 
I said I wanted something that was 25 characters long. And let's just make this ASDF. What we're going to do is we're going to use that ASDF over and over and over again. So ASDF, 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 ASD, or I'll just the A. There we go, that's the last A. So it repeats several times to fill up all the space required to bring us up to that minimum value. And pad end works the exact same way. If we copy that again, do pad end. Run this one last time. There we go. So with pad start, we pad at the beginning. With pad end, we pad after the string to bring it up to 25 characters long. If the number is smaller, we get our original string. If it's bigger, it uses whatever we have here to pad it. If you haven't provided that second argument, it is going to be spaces that are used to create the padding. And that's it. That's trim and pad. All right, so I hope that helps you out at some point. Any questions, leave them in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching.